Thank you for joining us today. As we go through our 15 minutes with the senior, uh, I have with me Ryan Fulton uh, today. And uh, Ryan, I'd like you to start just by telling us a little bit about yourself. Well, of course, I'm a senior this year. Um, I've gone to university my whole life. Um, I've been pretty busy lately with work and then at home school. But if I had to describe myself, I'd describe myself as pretty calm, pretty patient. And I think I'm dealing with this pretty well compared to a lot of other people who aren't taking it as well, being stuck at home and stuff along those lines. Okay, and so what are your plans for next year? I plan to attend WT and I'm gonna major in mechanical engineering. Okay, and do you have any like life goals with that do you where, where do you see yourself with that or is that going to be something you kind of figure out when you get there do you have any particular interest within mechanical engineering um i'm also interested in robotics so if i could like do something like combining the two of us that would be great but i don't have anything particular so okay yeah and you did that quite a bit throughout high school right of, mm -hmm. uh, with the robotics teams and going to state and and doing a great job uh, with that. Uh, another thing I want, I want to use this time for is I want to use it to uh, give students uh, a chance to, to tell those that have, have made a difference in their life, um, uh, an opportunity to do that. And so I, I want you to, to think back, uh, whether it be within the church or within school or work, and uh, as you go off, even though it's WT, it's still a different world, and um, as you go off, um, what, what lessons will you remember or, or, or who, who will you remember uh, either from, from their teachings or their examples? One big, uh, one person I know, big example here is probably uh, Miss Canal, who attends this church. Mm -hmm. She was my teacher um, my junior and senior year. Last year for algebra two and then this year for statistics um she had a lot of great lessons and she taught me really well she set a good example for everybody in the class so i really look up to her and then do you have any advice uh since now that you've you know you're finishing out your high school career uh i, I want you to think about two groups of people uh one being our sixth graders that are coming into seventh grade and so they go from the children's ministry, uh, you know, into the youth group, you know, being official <laughs> member of that, of if you have any advice for them. And then also for eighth graders that are becoming seen or that are becoming high schoolers, uh, do you have any advice for them? Are, were there changes within the youth group? Uh, and um, is there anything your freshman year that you wish you would have done differently or, or any advice you would give to them? All right, so starting with the first part, first getting to the youth group. I believe Tim was the youth minister at this time. And um, it, was, it was a big change going from a single classroom with maybe eight or nine people to all these people that I didn't really know that well. But I really enjoyed it. There was a lot of new thoughts that came up, and I learned a lot from this change. Going into high school, the thoughts only got like a lot more complicated, and I learned a lot more along those lines. I realized that even in the simple lessons I learned, there's just so much to dig into, to learn. And especially from the seniors, when I was looking at them from my freshman year, I really wanted to be like them because they seemed to understand everything. They like had everything figured out. No, that's not true now that I'm here, but <laughs> I really look good from when I was younger. Yeah, we definitely learn to fake it pretty well, you know, as, yes, as we, we get older, uh, I've, I've found and, and, you know, and I've said that consistently of, you know, we're all on this journey, I may be a little bit farther ahead than you are, but I'm still on a journey, you know, and I'm still learning and, and, uh, and, and you're there as well. And, and, and you've been a good example for, uh, for our students, whether it's their, their in your class or our junior high as well. And so I thank you for that. Uh, so during this time, I know that you said that you worked. And so things may not be as drastic for you as what it is for me who hasn't really left my house at all. Uh, but, but this is definitely strange times. Is there anything that, that you've learned about yourself during this time? 
um, that you may not have been able to otherwise? Um, I learned that for once in my life, I miss going to school. I've <laughs> always been the one that, man, summer break, I'm ready, snow day, here I come, spring break. Oh, man, I'm pumped up. But now that I'm stuck at home, I'm working, I'm still busy, and I still have schoolwork, I'd rather just be at school right now because I can be with people I know. I can work at stuff in designated areas and at a set time instead of this catastrophe that I'm in right now. So, yeah, I learned that I actually like school. Yeah. Uh, so what's been the hardest part? You call it a catastrophe. What's been the hardest part of it? Well, mostly it's making myself sit down and do my homework. I have every Sunday, all the homework comes in at once. So I can look at everything I need to do and it's just getting myself to sit there and actually do the work. That's been really hard for me. Uh, how do you, uh, as future generations, as they look upon this, this time, you know, and they're reading about in their history books, you know, and they come up to you and they say, Hey, didn't you go through this? Um, what do you think will be your lasting impressions of, you know, the spring of 2020, uh, during this this time um i would I'm sure, part of me would want to blow it up like yeah i survived the pandemic the apocalypse of 2020 but i'd probably be honest with them i'd say you can see this in your books it wasn't that bad but that's just me because i was busy throughout this time i was i had a lot of work during this time so i had something to put my mind on i didn't drill on it too much so it really wasn't as bad as people say, in my opinion. Yeah, I think, I think, I think there are definitely some that have, it's been worse than others, but you know, I think that y'all, uh, which I'm glad that y'all are doing something for your graduation, you know, mm -hmm. but I, I think that's going to be a story for y'all of, yeah. of y'all say like, we didn't really get our graduation because of, mm -hmm. because of this illness that went through and, and we didn't know what was going on, even with how technologically advanced we are, um, you know. And so I, I think that that's going to be, um, it's unfortunate, but it will be a story. It'll be a memorable, yeah. you know, it'll be a memorable event that occurs for y'all um, mm -hmm. that goes through. And then uh, kind of last question, Clo closing this out, uh, you said earlier that you were, that you're calm. And I would agree with that assessment uh, of you, but uh, is there is there anything about you that as people get to know you more that that may be a surprise? One thing that I think surprises people is that when I get to know them, I'll go from being really quiet, really like kept in to almost extrovert like like that. Once I feel like I can trust them and get to know them, I feel like some people don't really expect that, but it's just what I do. Once I see I can trust them, I'll really give myself out there and I'll let them know things about me. Cool. And, 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 and that, that's been one of my joys in, in this position is getting to know you over the last two years. And, uh, and it's definitely been that, you know, of, of at the beginning, it's like, okay, this kid's just not going to talk to me and that's okay. You know, and as we've gotten to know each other better, um, and having some real conversations and, and seeing each other in a different light, which I'm, a, I'm an introvert as well, you know, so I understand mm -hmm. that completely, you know, and, and I feel like I've, uh, we've mutually ha have done that. And so, uh, um, yeah, I, I think I would agree with you on that. And so, uh, uh Ryan, I, I just want to take this time and just to thank you for your, uh, your time. Uh, and, uh, you know, you talked about being a part of university your whole life and uh and and your work ethic and and the example that you've set uh for for the youth group and, and for for the for those that watch your work ethic um it definitely makes a difference and so i, I thank you for uh for that yeah thank you for having me you're welcome